We're here in Key West, Florida, and of course, Florida was one of the states that had some of the locally transmitted cases of Zika last year. They weren't here in Key West. They were in the Miami area, but they do have the mosquito here that transmits uh, the Zika virus as well as dengue and chikungunya. That's the Aedes aegypti mosquito. And even though this is one of the most vigilant mosquito control districts in the whole country, uh, through traditional methods, they've only been able to suppress that population by about 50 to 60 percent. The mosquito control director told us that's not enough for this mosquito. This is a, a very you know, robust mosquito that's causing crazy diseases that are, are very impactful on people's lives. So I think it's extremely important that we're looking at controlling that type of mosquito down to as minimal as possible. So they are trying new ways to control this mosquito. One of those is a sterilization technique, essentially using a bacteria that occurs in nature called Wolbachia. Essentially, that interferes with this kind of mosquito's ability to reproduce. Now, they're testing some uh, releases of these mosquitoes here. 25,000 of these male mosquitoes are released three times a week, and they only release the males because they don't bite. So they release the males into the wild. They mate with female wild Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, and hopefully their offspring won't be able to hatch their eggs. Uh, so they're testing that to see if they can control the mosquito populations here. Meanwhile, of course, globally, there are still some active cases of Zika. So as long as Zika is active in the world and this mosquito exists, the risk exists anywhere this mosquito is, guys. Meg, we did not hear much about Zika this year. We have not. Last year, I, I was preoccupied with it because I was pregnant, but it seemed to be everywhere in the headlines. What, what's the latest update with where Zika stands, at, at least in the United States at this point? In the United States right now, there is one area of Texas that's being watched in terms of local transmission, uh, in terms of the continental U.S. Uh, there is still active transmission at some level in Puerto Rico and other territories. And around the globe, there is some active transmission. Uh, we talked with Dr. Anthony Fauci from the NIH about vaccine efforts, and they are hoping to do efficacy trials uh, in the areas where Zika is still active. But it, it, we don't know exactly how much Zika there will be in order to test the efficacy of those vaccines. So, of course, they are still watching and vigilance is still needed. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.